Hi, this is Jeff Thornton, and I want to take a moment here to show you how you could add an MP3 file to uh, your media players on your computer so that you could burn a CD from that if you were interested in doing that. Um, so what I've done here is I'm going to start here first with Windows Media Player, and I found the Windows Media Player by going to my Start menu, and I looked for Windows Media Player, or you could also type in there um, in this point, Windows Media Player is the first thing that pops up there. So I would go, once I would click on that and open it, I'll see my media player before me. It'll probably be showing me my library to start with. Now, I have a file over here. This is actually a sound file that I uh, downloaded from the internet. And I want to take this sound file and I want to add it to my library. The simplest way to do it is just to actually take the file, click it, drag it over to where it says library. Now, if I look... Scroll down, here I should see it, I have too many things in here though, so I may not see it. Um, if you're not sure if it was added, one of the quick things you can do is you can go to recently added, and then I can see, oh, here it is right here. Now, once I decide I want to add this to a CD, I'm going to go to burn, because I want to burn a CD. I'm going to click on that, it's going to give me this little column over here on the side. Now it says drag items here, so I'll pick all the items that I want to put put on a CD. I'll drag them here, put them in the order that I want them to be in. I'll insert my audio CD, and then I'll hit Start Burn. And then in a matter of, few, of a few minutes, that will begin uh, burning those selections to the CD. Now, let me take, let's flip this over now, and let's look at how we would do this in iTunes. Okay, now I'm in my iTunes program for my media player, and I'm going to show you how you can now take the same mp3 file and we're going to put it into iTunes so that we can burn a CD. Um, notice I still have the same mp3 file over here and I'm going to take that file I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it up here to my library. Notice this whole section will be blue. iTunes will know exactly where to put it. So it will come up here, you'll have a, a little dialog box, it'll say copying one, it may go really fast, this one went so fast you didn't even see it. Um, you can also check here to see where it is added recently, oops, recently added, and I can scroll through here, and then, oh, there it is. There's the CD I just added. So now if I wanted to add that, you have to make a playlist in iTunes. So I'll go up to the top and I'll say, new playlist. And down here it will create my playlist. So let's call this my CD. You can call it whatever you want it to be called. And then let's go over to my recently added and find my song again. I'm going to take this song, I'm going to add it to my CD. Now I click on my CD, you should see that song in there. Just like in Windows Media Player, you can now move them around, drag them around, and put them wherever you'd like them to be. Once you have it where you want it to be, you have all the songs in the order that you want them to go, you'll click here, right click on my CD, and you'll say Burn Playlist to Disk. And once you click that, you have to put it, insert a CD, and then in a matter of a few minutes, it will burn this playlist of all these songs to the CD. Thank you.